We going up? Oh. So uh, continue our little uh, tour of backcountry airplanes. We have the latest backcountry jet. Yes. <laughs> Here with Tommy, aka Plane Junkies. Hey. Check him out on Instagram in the description below. So Tommy flies this brand new PC24, one of four in the United States. And uh, tell us about your little ship. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like a PC12 with twice the power, twice the speed, same performance. So. Best, awesome. best of both worlds, best of both worlds right? Yeah. You can go fast and you can land on unimproved strips. So exactly. this is a backcountry airplane for reals. Let's take a look inside. <laughs> You know, it's, it's got all the important things, you know. It's got a table so we can play uh, got table, beer pong or Wi Fi connections, USB ports. Yes. You know, safety car. Safety first, <laughs> <laughs> always. The seats are super nice. I, I can get used to flying in the back, but really I want to fly up front. <laughs> <laughs> the so, best part is, let me well, show you something else. I can log into the Wi Fi on the aircraft and control the lighting in my phone. Whoa. I can walk in. We're gonna find out Tommy's password here in a second. So Wi-Fi enabled lighting controls through the Pilatus app. Rad. And go ahead and click on the little light switch. That's gonna wash the cabin. Oh. Oh. oh what? It's like magic. You switch the lights on. <laughs> Tables, butt wash, cabin. And some guys want to stick with their steam gauges. Why are we on steam gauges when you can have an iPhone app to control your airplane? <laughs> Pretty rad. I can turn the temperature down from back here. Let's see. Temp, uh, temperature. Right now, current temperature is 61. I mean, it's hot in Vegas. Down. We need air conditioning in here. Yes. 61. <laughs> Pretty nice. So Tommy was just telling me he's taking it off in 1,200 feet ish. Yeah. Fully grossed, and then landing in a certified to 3,000 feet, 2,800 feet. Yeah, balance field length is about uh, just under, about 2,800 feet. Um, I know landed. Cessnas that land longer than that. <laughs> yeah. 
I've, you know, from wheels touch down and I get all three wheels on the ground with the braking, it, it'll stop from like a thousand feet if I hit it hard. Just on brakes. Feet. Yeah. Touchdown, uh, I got red up, we read out about 75 knots when the wheels touch the ground. 75 knots. I know a lot of people who can't fly their Cessnas that slow either. <laughs> You know, approach speeds are, we're looking at like, you know, 90, 95. Yeah. Yeah, performance of a bush plane and uh, the cabin class jet. Yeah, we'll go up to 45,000 feet. Cruising. Is, uh, cruising, yeah. Yeah. Actually, this, air, this aircraft's wing is so straight, you could actually do steep turns at 4,000, 45,000. Really? And pretty good range. They just flew to New York the other day from Las Vegas. Yeah, nonstop. Four hours. About I'm just four gonna hours pop to the city. And I think 25 minutes. That was probably like the max, you know, we could take it. But yeah, four hours, 25 minutes. I stopped. We did it. Yeah. So, if you're looking for a place to go on a, a jet ride, probably your man at some point. Yeah. Check out AirSmart. <laughs> AirSmart. You can become a fractional owner of one of these for a low, low cost. Oh yeah. Save us <laughs> up. Yes. <laughs> so the bathroom closed the door. Tommy, what do I have to do if I have to go pee? You wanna go pee? Abracadabra. Got a vacuum. Full down lab. Full down lab. Don't fall in. And it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you got a sink. Wash your hands when you're done. And a privacy door. Well, these guys got to uh, get on a flight. Unfortunately, I don't get to go with them. Thanks Maybe so next much time. For, uh, giving me a little quick tour. Anytime. See you next time. <laughs> All right, right on. Stay flying. See ya. See, ya. See you next time.